I need Pittman with Pittman Law Office. We always get a question after we do a will with a client. Why didn't you make me do a trust or why didn't I have a trust? So not everyone needs a revocable living trust. So if you're if you met with an attorney, especially here at Pittman Law, if you met with one of us, we're going to give you the options of a last one testament and how that looks and you know, discussing beneficiary designations. And we're also going to talk about the difference between the revocable living trust. And then we let the client decide what they feel is best for them. Now, we also will say sometimes like, hey, we really think you need to do a trust. And again, we're going to leave it up to the client. But the idea with the last one in testament is it will only come into play if there's an asset in the one that decedent's individual's name. So if I have a client that has a IRA, 401k, life insurance, they can name beneficiaries on those accounts. So that's not going to go through probate because I know everybody thinks probate's a bad word. Probate, if it's just regarding your homestead property and if your homestead property is going to a family member, is a pretty streamlined process. It doesn't take a year to complete. So if we have discussed the last will and testament in a trust with you and you chose to do a will, then we are going to stress that you name beneficiaries on all of your accounts. Do not have an account, even a small checking that maybe only has $500 in at the end of the month, not have a beneficiary. So make sure all of your accounts have direct beneficiaries, pay on death, transfer on death, and trust for whatever the banks or financial institutions call it. So again, if you have a will, that doesn't mean you didn't need a trust. It just means that's maybe what we decided was best for you. It also doesn't mean that the situation may not change. So if you have a last will and testament and your family dynamic changes or you buy another house, those are things that you need to let your attorney know about. And same thing with the trust. They're, when you do a revocable trust, it's not like it's all, all set up for the, for the rest of your life. If something changes within your finances or within your family, you need to let your attorney know so then we can determine if we need to you know, update your plan. So again, not everybody needs a revocable trust. The attorney didn't necessarily mess up if you have a will. It's just if you are doing the last will and testament, we have instructed you to make sure that you do not have a large probate, meaning all of your other assets besides your home have beneficiaries named. Hope that helps.